So here it is, all linked together. A normal, healthy neuron subjected to the stresses of aging produces extra waste, including lipofusin, which tau then binds to and continues to accumulate to form abnormal bundles and tangles until the cell, the neuron, swells to such an extent that it ruptures and dies, leaving behind the hallmark late stage ghost tangle. But not only do we clearly now understand more of this process, what is more important to us all as doctors and scientists, as family and patients, is that the pattern and extent of the abnormal tau aggregation in the brain correlates with the loss of cognitive function for the patient. This starts in the neocortex and hippocampus, which controls memory and then continues to spread. And here we have such an important point. As the tau advances, so does the loss of function. Tau spread mirrors cognitive effect. Now compare that to amyloid. Beta amyloid is the other naturally occurring protein which becomes abnormal in Alzheimer's disease, forming hard, insoluble plaques that clump together between the neurons. The extent and progression of amyloid deposition in the brain does not, however, mirror the cognitive decline in patients, and this is crucial. The IDEAS study was a recent observational and imaging study of over 18,000 patients completed in December 2017, which aimed to show that the findings on amyloid PET scan would correlate with the degree of cognitive impairment and translate into earlier interventions and treatments in order to prove outcome. But unfortunately, it did not. Our focus has always been on tau. We are excited about the second generation tau ligands for PET scanning and the potential development of blood testing for easier and quicker testing of tau levels. There has been an intense revitalization of interest in approaching tau as the research in the past 20 years has seen the trials focusing on other proteins or mechanisms failing to lead to a treatment. As a result, a range of approaches targeting tau are in the field and are being investigated, but remain in earlier stages.